Hi, I'm Tana Thirsty, Area Agronomist with Corteva AgriScience. I'm out in a cornfield just west of Dauphin, Manitoba. Uh, this cornfield was planted May 18th. Uh, I remember that because it was the Monday of May long weekend. It was a beautiful day. Uh, we planted it in to about 16 degrees soil temperature uh, conditions. And uh, it's a beautiful day for, uh, for corn planting that day. And now 11 days after that, we have corn starting to come out of the ground. Um, so what I am doing is going to flag each of the corn that is popping out and we'll track as the days go on to see how long it takes from the first emerger to the last emerger. Uh, it gives us an idea of that, that gap between to meet new emergence. And it also helps us to identify any skips or misses in the row as well and, and just really helps us to plan ahead for next year. Uh, we do want a nice even corn stand so you know you think about that Tim McGraw song corn popping up in rows that's the nice thing we want to see is is corn in nice picket rows so having even emergence and that's really to secure your yield potential so if you have a corn plant that's an earlier merger and it's beside a corn plant that's a later merger uh, those two will compete for light nutrients water and we'll find that the earlier merger will take over leaving the late emerger to become a rent. So essentially it, it treats that, uh, it becomes a weed to the early emerger. And so then we see, often see um, smaller ear sizes, which leads to often, well, leads to less less grain in your bins. So we wanna have have the emergence as, as tight as possible in, um, in that time time frame and typically in our conditions up here we're looking at about a, a five to seven day gap. What you do to start your own emergence trial is to get a tape measure, a flag, and a marker and then some pin flags or stakes are good too. Uh, depending on your row spacing you'll measure out a one one thousandth of an acre. So for 30 inch rows I measured out 17 feet five inches and go along that row and mark all of the the corn that has popped out. So there's only four that have emerged along this row and I'll come back tomorrow and mark my second day of emergence. And while you're looking for emergence, it's always a good thing too to check for weeds. Uh, corn is quite uncompetitive until the V3 stage. So make sure your fields are nice and weed free and uh, get your sprayers ready if you are seeing some weed control. What you wanna be looking for in terms of a more emerged corn plant. Uh, go across the row and and check for any little spikes. If you come across a plant that's uh, in this stage, you might want to mark um, the day before because we know that this guy came out well ahead. While you're out in your cornfield, uh, make sure you look for, for weeds that are popping out of the ground too. Uh, we've had some really nice sunny days and warm weather, so weeds are definitely growing. Corn is very uncompetitive until the, until the V3 stage, so now until V3. So we don't want to get let these weeds get ahead of the crop. Uh, make sure you have your uh, crop protection all lined up. So be it your glyphosate or if you want a residual product like Sortan, uh, make sure you have that lined up with your retail.